kesi yenye imeendelea hapa ni different ilikuwa on friday tulikuwa tunaenda sports mimi nikakutana na mchana kwa njia baya kwa umri wangu alikuwa 7 years kama mbe the mere five pop tungekuwa kwa raia tungekuwa tushauliwa mimi kwa shachomwa kasa mungu ametuleta hapa na tu spare The boy has yes. Changed. yes, to me they have changed because you can imagine if we could be releasing uh, 50 criminals into the society, this country could be on fire. That one day treatment of young people who run foul of the law may be guided by second chances rather than an informed prejudice remains the message that Bostol institutions strive to put across. Whether society buys into this is a different story altogether. What was my also? Ama mmeoga kwa ujumla? Mko tayari? Kwa program za siku ya leo? In criminal justice circles, Bostol institutions in Kenya boast of a model for returning young offenders to communities only after addressing the shortcomings that may have led to their sentences. Social and education skills, family patterns, mental health, gang participation and vocational needs. We have very little recidivism. These are boys who have got skills. When they go out, they look for employment. They enhance their skills. A 17-year-old caught up in a past world of moral confusion speaks of his three-year term in a Boston institution. He, unlike most offenders released into the community after a year, has had to serve his maximum sentence. Nipokuja hapa niliona ni maisha yangu ndio imeisha. Hakuna vile nitaendelea tena. Na hapa hivi tuna walimu pia wa dini, faith. Kuna waislamu na kuna Christians pia. They cover a big part ya kutubadilisha sisi hapa. Ya kubadilisha mienendo yetu. I'm here because I stole things from my garden. Uh, there are conditions, generators and some microwaves, some machines just to be used in a restaurant here. Um, I stole them and we sold it for cheap money, just to get money to go and have fun in the clubs and using drugs and stuff like that. So like one generator, maybe it might, it might, might be 50,000 in the shop, but I, if you come to me, I'll sell it to you in 3,000 or 4,000 shillings. I'm gonna use the certificates that I'm gonna get from here for the carpentry and wiring to go find work out there. I wanna live, I wanna live any, a life, an honest life. Not the life of always running around, getting chased around or using drugs. That wouldn't get anyone anywhere. But perhaps the hurdle in front of juvenile offenders' rehabilitation lies within the society in them seeing youth offenders as lost causes. When you talk to these boys, most of them are suffering from rejection of their own families. Unfortunately in Kenya, even when people have been in prison for years and years, when they come out, people still remember and forget that these people have actually paid the price for whatever put them in, uh, into jail or into Boston institutions in the first place. In the twinkling of a judgment eye, there may be need to believe in the premise that the aim of juvenile rehabilitation is to correct their misdemeanor tendencies so that they do not become threats for the society. Youths who are labeled as criminals or delinquents may hold these as self-fulfilling prophecies, believing the labels that others assign to them, thereby acting as the labels. One of the ways to become fully accepted is to have a very fruitful role that you're playing within the community. Uh, either you're having some sort of productivity, and that's where the problem begins. Nobody gives you a chance. We are trying to make them assert themselves and say they have to fight the stigma. Since 1965, Apa Epafungulue, Hakuna Bostol, Ambei Mishiri Katika Music Festivals. For the first time, 2011, Tumenda, 
provisions, tukashinda, tukaenda mpaka Nakuru Nationals na tukapata the best male voices. Na mini komo mi nimebarilika ah nimebarilika na mini komo mi nimeweke bisha ah nimeweke bisha In the school section especially we have boys who have done tremendously well and who have been ad admitted to national schools Such accomplishments not taking away from the need to hold teens accountable for crimes committed. This bringing to life the challenges therein of raising the boy child. Priorities have to be made clearly by many parents. Uh, parents have to realize that, you know, these children at the end of the day need to be taught so many things, far more than probably we imagine. And just trying to keep abreast and try to trace what happens and don't ignore what you're told. Sally Bilu, Boys.